Perfect Black and White has some amazing tools to help you achieve correct exposure. To start, you're going to want to view your histogram, which is located on the top right of the user interface. Just click on it to display. Now, what you're going to want to do is verify whether you have any blown out highlights or clipped shadows. You'll know if you have any clipped shadows or blown out highlights if the icons on the top left or the top right of the histogram are filled in. If you click on it, you'll be given a display of where your blown out highlights and clipped shadows are. To correct it, you're going to use the sliders under the tone pane. First, let's address the highlights. You can see that we've got some blown out highlights in the snow over here and in the sky. To start, I'm going to take the white level and bring that down until all of the overlay pattern disappears. Now I'm also going to drop the brightness to fix the rest of it. You can see that the highlight warning is gone. For the shadows, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring the blacks down. And now we've recovered all of that shadow information. Now I'm free to continue on editing. And if I want to hide the highlight and shadow warning, all I need to do is click on those same icons and they'll turn off. From here, I'm free to use the brightness slider as I need to, as well as the contrast. Shadows and highlights are actual recoveries. If I want to bring out detail in the shadows, I'll increase the shadow slider. If I want to restore more detail in the shadows, I'll bring this down. The same thing goes for highlights. If I want to remove the highlight information and restore detail there, I'll increase the highlight recovery slider. One warning though, too much use of the highlight slider will give your image a flat, muddy look, so use it sparingly.